you with another instant classics, and we're reveling in the work of uh, visualist, visually stunning work of Marc Chagall. And just a reminder that uh, Chagall was born uh, in 1887, had a nice long life, almost 100 years. He was a Russian-French Jew uh, of Bilu Russian, white Russian Jewish origins. Uh, he was an early modernist painter. He was uh, conceptually very interesting. Uh, everybody from Picasso on down said he was one of the great masters of color and how to use color to promote emotion, to promote ideas and feelings of the 20th century. And take a look at this picture, which is one of his most famous and one of my famous paintings of Chagall in general. It's called The White Crucifixion. And there it is. You get a neat view of it. For a Jewish painter, the crucifixion really, really, really made an impression on Chagall. He painted numerous versions with different significances. And again, there doesn't seem to be any overt hostility to this idea. It doesn't seem to be that uh, as, as, as a serious practicing Jewish person, at least in the early part of his life, there doesn't seem to be any um, uh, res resentment or uh, anger at the image would become the central image of Christianity, which of course broke, f broke out of the Jewish faith. This painting is, again, called The White Crucifixion. It was painted in 1938. It represents a critical turning point for the artist Marc Chagall. It was the first of an important series of paintings of compositions that feature the image of Christ as a Jewish martyr, not necessarily the Son of God. And that's the adjustment he makes. This doesn't seem to be necessarily a reinforcement of Christian theology, certainly not, but the idea of the Jew, the Jewish man as a martyr, fits very nicely into what was going on in 1938 in Stalinist Russia. These paintings show the suffering of Jews and the Jesus himself. Violent conflicts are depicted, such as the setting on fire of synagogues in these pictures of crucifixions. In the center of this picture, Jesus is displayed, crucified and symbolized as being Jewish adjourned with a prayer shawl instead of a loincloth. So he's wearing a garment that would have been especially significant to the Jews and the rabbis in general. And so again, it, it, Jesus becomes an everyman here. Je, 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 the, the idea of Jesus is universal, uh, but given a slightly Jewish twist here, given the pogroms that were about to get a, beginning to get a lot worse, of course, 1938, the Holocaust was well underway. Whether Sh Chagall knew that or not, I, at that early a date is probably unlikely, but certainly the rounding up of Jews, Kristallnacht, the expulsion of Jews, both by the Soviets and the, the Nazis, were all sorts of reasons to suggest that something much, much worse was coming down the road, of which Christ and his eminent suffering might be a very, very useful parallel for an artist like Chagall. Uh, so white Chris, the right, white crucifixion revealed in him a very nostalgic view of late medieval, early Renaissance Italian art as well. Uh, oftentimes very interested in color too. Uh, it's interesting that in the white crucifixion, so the emphasis tends to be more on colorlessness for a variety of reasons. <laughs>